<laughs> All right. So, of course, you know, this is me. I jump yeah. in sometimes. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I kind of hear, I hear every show kind of in the background and I heard an interesting story kick it off. So I thought, uh, hey, let me jump in. Let's add a little bit more to this. So what do you guys think? Let's do it. <laughs> Yep. So, JoJo's pretzels. Yes, sir. Let's talk about that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Art so, loves food. So, yeah, first of awesome. all, there's two passions of mine. That's food right. and entrepreneurship. I love starting businesses. You kind of have the same background, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. So, so let's talk about like, uh, I know you guys talked about JoJo's. Let's talk about the business aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I know growing up, um, you've probably seen, like, because the business has been around for a while, like, how um, did you get introduced into the business model of the component of it? That's yeah. a really good question. Um, honestly, I, I, I wasn't really introduced to it in, like, a formal way. It was just always there. Yeah. It's just like a you family. lived it, right? Yeah, I lived it because right. it's a family business. So I, I was bussing tables when I was, like, 10 years old. And yes, man. Every, like, literally, I've been just in it you know so so it's always been there the moral of the story of that is big stuff takes time yeah right totally it takes time so you kind of started in the mail room in the <laughs> trenches man you're yeah. like in the trenches mm -hmm. learning the business mm -hmm. and knowing how uh to work with the customers you know the customers the ins and know, outs, ins and outs. Yeah. yeah yep exactly and, you know business isn't just about like that one thing mm -hmm. right it's so if you're in operations now right you know the complexity of like everything from the finance to the customers to the experience mm -hmm. that you want, the vibe you want to give mm -hmm. when people walk through the door. Yeah. Like talk about that a little bit. What's that look like? Yeah, that is really good. I love, I love your question. So yeah, um, it, I, I learned so much from going through, like even just dealing with bad customers, dealing with good customers, you know, um, dealing with customer complaints, feedback, things like that as a young kid. Like I, I kept all that knowledge with me. And then when I helped, like, for example, when I helped to like install the new POS system that we had, like we had like an old system that mm -hmm. was just getting busted, but yeah, it was busted. It was, <laughs> and we could just call it out. It was busted. It was done. It was, it was a dinosaur. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so once we upgraded to what we have now is toast, which I don't know if you've heard of toast. Sounds yummy. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's, it's a really good, it's actually a, uh, it's, it's kind of like square or oh, okay. it's like yeah. one of the, it's a POS system. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I, when I went into that, all that knowledge really helped when I did that to make the experience really good, like designed well for my employees and for my customers. And so that it's smoother, you know, we go through the line quicker. Um, and you know, there's all kinds of different things, even like the music you play, you know, the decor, there's just like so many aspects that that can change the vibe and can help make the experience better for the customer and make it more valuable. And, you know, even the presentation of the pretzel, that that's yeah. a very simple thing. But like like we used to do just um, trays, like we do a pretzel on a napkin straight on the a red tray. And we do basically the same thing. But the only difference we do now is we put a wax paper on the tray and that makes a huge difference. Like. I don't know why it just it just makes it look better and that makes it more I guess that just makes it seem more valuable, presentable and that people yeah, notice it too. It's an experience. It's yeah. the small things that like even small things people notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. And so, they did notice it. So we we had talked about this in some of our meetings before. Um we talk about psychology mm. and psychology mm -hmm. in business and um how that plays into an experience that people have. So all the things that you're you're stating right now are a couple of different components. You're looking at your processes and the uh, experience that your customer has, mm -hmm. right? It's about the experience. So you, you guys have over time, you even from the prior POS system, mm -hmm. you said, well, this process sucks. We hate this. <laughs> this could be better. Yeah. And you're thinking the whole time, wow, if we're going to get a new system, these are the things we don't want. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And so you're refining mm -hmm. your processes. So mm -hmm. even down to the experience for the customer. Mm -hmm. So what you're stating is, is this like you're saying like, okay, well, we have the trays. We want our customers to go, wow, this is, this is going to feel good. I can probably go somewhere else and get some frozen pretzels. Yeah. And throw them in my stove at home. And it's probably going to suck. 
Yeah. Side <laughs> face the same yeah. versus you just throwing a pretzel, slapping some butter on it and just throwing it on a plate. You know, people mm-hmm. would be like, wow. You know, people yeah. go to places for experiences. Mm-hmm. So the yeah. experience component is huge. Totally. So yeah. so as if you're looking like if you're looking at all of this as in your operations, um, you're kind of playing into marketing and operations kind of converge at a mm-hmm. certain point. Mm-hmm. Um, because marketing is leading into this is what mm-hmm. your customers are seeing. This is what they're saying, mm-hmm. this is how they feel. Mm-hmm. When you come into our store, and you, you mentioned before, I think you said your sister, yeah, does some of the marketing. Uh-huh. So let's talk about her, even though she's not here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to, you know, yeah, just I want to put you out <laughs> yeah. there just because we want to hear about that. Yeah, no, so she's she amazing. Do? So she's awesome. Uh, my sister Mariah, she helps with, um, well, she actually set up our website. She also helped design our logo. Um, she really helps with like product development and like different things like that. So like her and I are really a really good team. Like we work really hard together Mm -hmm. and, but yeah, she does a ton of tons of different things. She helps me with, I do, I manage the social media, but she helps me with it. Like she helps me make the content for it. So Mm -hmm. she does a lot like, and it's cool because like she went into school, college studying nursing and then switched to graphic design then switched, transferred, and then switched to business. <laughs> and so it's just like been all over the place, but she's really good at graphic design, marketing, like all that kind of stuff. So, well, yeah. I think that's helpful too. Uh, you guys kind of grew up into the business. Yeah. So you know what the brand is. So she's oh, helping yeah. kind of, mm-hmm. do you think branding is important? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's like, yeah. Like, so <laughs> for any reason, yeah, I know yeah. that's a stupid question. But, Excuse me. So no, but I mean that's a serious question because yeah. I feel like a lot of businesses don't focus on that. Yeah, you know, yeah. like that's uh, who you are. You mm-hmm. know, like your branding, your how even on the social social media side, there's still like a strategy behind mm-hmm. it so that it's all cohesive, mm-hmm. right? That it makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it, that's really cool that your your sister can uh, kind of jump in and you guys kind of collaborate in mm-hmm. some of those spaces because uh, you're more operation. So you may be in front of the customer more, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Versus she may be behind the scenes kind of pulling the strings. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, okay, this is what it looks like on social. This is what people are saying and totally. doing. And oh, mm-hmm. what if we made something like this? This yeah. creative could be like jump out and how can we put this in the store so we can use that so people see it mm-hmm. psychologically. Yeah. When they come into the store, they saw this online, they see it in their store. Like there is no coincidence by mm-hmm. this. Okay, this is all planned most of the time. Yeah. And a lot of businesses don't do that. Yeah. You know, and they wonder why, like, wow, how do I grow? Well, there's a secret to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's what's happening offline too, mm-hmm. that it's all strategic. Everything's yeah. strategic, you know? Yeah, I feel like a lot of small businesses struggle with that because yeah. they're just focused on getting by. Yeah. Especially nowadays, it's just, you know, they're just focused on getting through. And that's important, you know, it's important to do what you can to like, you know, keep the business going. But you definitely have to have that like ability to sort of step aside or kind of like separate yourself for the business for a second and get at that separate angle and be like, okay, we need to, like just you just need to plan ahead. Just pause. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. pause. And Make your yeah. mark. Adjust. Yeah, adjust and yeah. Mm-hmm. And exactly. do you guys um, take time to like kind of step back and look at okay, this is what we're doing now, mm-hmm. and is this working? Is this not working? Do yeah. You guys have like sessions like that where you guys talk about stuff like that. Yeah, we do. Um, we have we have monthly or actually we have like biweekly management meetings, and um, at every meeting we have. Just like kind of like an extra like 15, 20 minutes of kind of open time to just discuss, debate, kind of talk about stuff. Like if something's going wrong or if something that happened this week or that we need to address, you know, we have some time to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, we, we try to address those things as, as soon as we can. And is that a like a wider team or is it like you and your sister or yeah. is it? It's, 
So I'm yeah. being really nosy. <laughs> yeah. just, you're but good. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I, I like, I'm wondering who are the players yeah. right. and evaluating yeah. uh, su- like the success of the store because yeah. you know everything's based on perspective. Mm-hmm. So like, who's involved in that yeah. type of scenario? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's my dad, my mom. Yeah. It's all, it's all family. It's the you know, family. It's the family. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's my mom and dad and my sister, my brother, Josh, my brother-in-law, Justin. And soon we're also trying to f- uh, find a way to, and I don't know if I should be talking about it. It's the I'll secret say, sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're trying to find a way to get my, my sister, Heather involved. She lives in Texas right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're figuring that out. You know how to, how she can. Oh, contribute. everyone can ro- work remote. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, like yeah. it's it's possible. Which, yeah, we we have some hybrid stuff going here too. Oh, so yeah. we know like we have um, a lot of our employees who work. Some of them work remote as well. Mm-hmm. Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Massachusetts yeah, it's Chicago. Wow. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. They're, That's te- awesome. yeah, they're spread Indeed. out. Wow. Yeah, so it's possible you can yeah. do it. You just have to figure out. You know how they play the, their part mm-hmm. in the whole scheme of things. You know, mm-hmm. um, and it may it's kind of interesting. Is some of your remote people can look f- at the business in a different perspective. Mm-hmm. You know, because oh, you're inside, yeah. and they can look at what's going on where they live and bring new ideas um, oh, to that's cool. the, to your business locally. Yeah. You know, so it's in, yeah. You sh- you should really leverage that and say hey what's going on in texas yeah mm-hmm. you know like is there any pretzel shops in texas walk mm-hmm. into them yeah. see how they function what mm-hmm. is working really well there maybe we can bring some of that here yeah you know totally. so, yeah so. so how do you how do you um <clears throat> excuse me how do you like monitor or kind of like manage hybrid employees like how do you know like okay they're being productive they're getting their work done you know kind of thing how do you Otherwise. keep track of that? <laughs> yeah. Well, we kind of have our own software that uh, we built. Oh, um, cool. To kind of manage uh, what's happening through uh, a lot of our activities uh, that happens within the business. Uh, we have sprints. We have our sprints are, are based off of uh, basically goals that we run every two weeks. And oh, wow. we monitor. So uh, the goals like for us, um, one of the things that, for me, it's not important. The remote people are hourly. It's like, these are your goals and are oh. you hitting them? Yeah. You know, so basically their time clock isn't like, Hey, this is eight to five. It's whatever it takes yeah. to get it done. Okay. These are the goals. This is what you have to do. And then we have, uh, every week we'll, we'll monitor, we'll do kind of midpoint and say mm-hmm. like, Hey, how far, how did you do this week? We have a thing every week we have, you know, what did you work on? Uh, what were some of the obstacles you had? And uh, what was something awesome that you learned? What what's or any really good ideas you may have that mm-hmm. came out of your week? So we like always try to end the week on a positive note. So mm-hmm. basically throughout the week for everybody, that's just not remote, but just even like just, local. Yeah. It's you're always thinking about like, um, what am I doing now and how can it be better or what are some of the things that I know I'm going to have to bring back to the team and mm. discuss? Yeah. So then, so basically as I monitor it, I, I'm not a micromanager, <clears throat> but so mm-hmm. everyone knows what their role is and what they're supposed to do. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, we really, we always refine it. We're like, okay, we're going to have a meeting. Let's make sure we dial in exactly what you're, what you're working on, what you're doing and what we expect to see mm-hmm. yeah. on a week to week basis. Yeah. So that's awesome. So down the uh, and going to entrepreneurship, it's mm-hmm. really uh goals, consistency, you know, mm-hmm. and um communication, just really clear communication. So your remote people, it's just you follow yeah. those rules, man. You will not have any problems. Now you're gonna have some things that don't work out. Remote people, possibly. We've been there. We've oh, yeah. It's sure. been peachy all the time. <laughs> but when some of those things break down, you know you got a problem. Plus, you got to yeah. find people that you work well with. Yes. Yeah. Works I agree. Works well with the team. Well, for sure. And, and it's it's really important that um, you, you work together because mm-hmm. that's kind of our mission. Our purpose is work together, grow together. And that's how we uh, work inside out. You know, so like whether whatever we're doing inside the business, we have to do the same outside the business. So if we're working with our clients, they're not working with us. It's not going to work. 
Yeah. You know, it's just, it's yeah. just how it is. It's communication mm -hmm. and synergy. You know, like as you, you focus on your team, your team has to be strong and be able to communicate with one another. And mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, that's how uh, we've figured out the gaps of, yeah. of, of we've been doing hybrid like forever, even really? before COVID. It was oh, always wow. like that. Wow, like we awesome. always had people remote. And um, so when COVID, that whole mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. mantra yeah. of like, hey, this is how the new world is. They're like, yeah, we already been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, that's, that's not awesome. new. <laughs> that's not new. It's just that's like, awesome. hey, it's normalized now. Before it was like kind of like, oh. That's weird. You don't yeah. have people <laughs> mm -hmm. local. They, everybody's remote. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sometimes it's more productive for certain roles yeah. to do that. You know, they could focus and just get into whatever they're working on. Mm -hmm. So most of our engineers are remote. Okay. You know. Um, wow. That's so yeah. cool. Because I've always wondered, like, how do you, yeah, like, how do you keep track of that? How do you know if someone's just kind of not getting their work done? But that's, it's, you guys got we your know own, your yeah. software for it. So yeah, we know. Well, unless you have, like, timelines Teams. for things. And so <coughs> yeah. if you're not hitting those timelines, and then. then it's like, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Well, and, and, you know, as we're looking at going back to, like, our sprints and our, those are our goals. Um, if you're falling short don't make excuses that you couldn't do it. Did you mm. talk about it? Did you ask someone? Like, did you tell For someone help? you were having issues? Yeah. Or did you talk about it? Because that's usually uh, the gaps right there is like, you're not communicating on the problems you're having. Yeah. Okay? Just ask. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's yeah. have a, like now we live in a world where we can jump on a, a Microsoft Teams or a Zoom call or mm. whatever, even, you know, like, hey, let's just figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? And sometimes it's better to like, if you're stuck for three or four hours, you need to stop and talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's let's figure this out together because that's how you can move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Communication is key. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is is there any other takeaways you can give to um let's let's what the local businesses, since that is our focus, yeah. Is what are some what's some advice you can say since you you've grown up in the business? You're operating the business, the day-to-day. -day. Um, what is the most important takeaway you can say for other business owners uh, trying to do what you guys do well at mm. with experience yeah. and everything? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, hmm, I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I would, there, there's a yeah. lot of things. Of yeah, <laughs> I, I could I could say so many things. Yeah, but say in, I would in say the, in the customer base, like working yeah. with customers, since that's your storefront. Yeah, uh, B two C. Yeah, yeah, I would say honestly, the a big thing for small business owners right now, I would say that they need to focus on is like making sure that they're working on their business and not in their business too much. Like, yes. I think that's the biggest problem Dude. right now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That's yeah. it. That, that's the yeah. big one. Um, mm -hmm. We get stuck inside yeah. the business where we can't see what's happening yeah. on the outside. Exactly. And that's difficult. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's easier said than done. Yeah. It's, it's so hard to catch that, catch yourself. And like, if you if you get too caught up in the day to day or in the you know just getting getting by, you then or get trying to survive even you know then you forget to pause and you yeah. forget to detach and like say hold on like I need to reassess so, you know. So the huge takeaway from that because I love it, okay, <laughs> I absolutely love that. Yeah, is um, depending on the size of your business, you may not. Some of the businesses out there don't have your sister. Yeah, yeah. They don't exactly. have the people to that can help strategize within their business. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but you should seek out companies like Viviscape. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, you're mar on the marketing side, mm -hmm. your strategic side of your company, and you focus on doing the work you're great at. Yeah. And sometimes look at maybe you need to stop worrying about the marketing, let somebody take on that. So you can focus on your business design. Yeah. Right. You know, the yeah. business design, if you're not continuing to uh, pivot and evaluate your business, you're not going to grow. Exactly. It's going to die. Exactly. You know, so yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. being on the yeah, show. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. I appreciate that. Sorry yeah. to jump in. <laughs> I felt Sorry. like it was great. there was some, some, some critical stuff we wanted to yeah. pull out yeah. Yeah. before you awesome. left. 
Awesome. Glad to share it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. All right. See you guys next show. <laughs>